Hello, everybody, and welcome to our Job Nimbus 101 workshop today. Uh, this month, we're going to be talking all about financials in Job Nimbus, and we're starting today with estimate templates. My name's Logan. And I'm Daniel. And your financial documents are super important for you and your company, and they're super important in Job Nimbus. You're going to be creating a lot of financial documents, estimates, invoices, material orders, what have you. A lot of times, your estimate is the first official document that your client is going to see from you and your company. So it's important to make it look good. Using Job Nimbus, creating estimates is a snap and using the templates in Job Nimbus is super easy. You can use the templates to make your estimates estimates appear more professional. You can also use the options in the template designs to make sure that your estimate is designed and a suitably for your company and that you have what needs to be seen on your estimate for your clients. Absolutely. They're pretty useful. So let's get into them. Uh, if you want to see your templates, the first thing you have to do is you have to head into your settings. You will do that by clicking on your name in the upper right hand corner and choosing settings from the menu. If you don't see settings on your menu, I can't help you. Yeah, sorry. You need to talk to an admin on your team to get access if you need access to your settings. <laughs> but assuming you are an admin and you have access to your settings, we go into settings and we go to templates on the left hand side. This is where all of the templates in your system are stored. We'll be working specifically on estimate templates today. You can see we already have three in here. Now these can be edited or you can click on the three dots and you've got an option to delete. Now, if you do edit these, something to keep in mind is that it won't automatically change the already created estimates that use that template. They'll still have that template, uh, but it will have a, a parentheses old after it. And if you want to change those, you'll have to go in and actually update the template for the individual estimates. Uh, today though, we're not going to work on editing an estimate template. Instead, we're going to make a new estimate template. So we'll go to add template <laughs> in the upper left hand or upper right hand side. Uh, and since we're making an estimate template, we'll choose to make a work order. That sounds good to me. Let's do it. It's wrong, Dan. I was <laughs> tested, you failed. You're fired. <laughs> uh, let's make the estimate. Uh, when we do that, we then will be given two options for the finest estimates Job Nimbus Minds could create for the time being. Um, either one of these looks fantastic and very professional. I like the first one better, so we're going to choose it. Great. Now that we have the template pulled up, uh, we can, uh, we'll, we'll go through everything in the template, but first let's give it a name. This name it will be shown with all of the other template names in the template a table over here in your settings. So let's give it a name that is descriptive, the best template and best estimate ever. Right here, we can change the title. A lot of times um, our users don't want a, the title of the estimate to be estimate. They want it to be bid quote proposal. You can choose, you can change it right here and it will correspond with this black bar right here. So we let's change it to quote. You can also change the special instructions. When you create estimates, you can add customer notes to the bottom section of the estimate. We'll show you in a little bit of where that is, but you can change it to a from special instructions to customer note to whatever you want. So we're going to change it to more info for you. And we'll show you where that um, updates later. This area right here is where you can change what is seen on your estimate. As you see, we have an internal column and a customer column. So the customer column is what you want your clients to see on the estimate and the internal column is what your team members will see. For now, we're going to check every box. That way we can go through everything and we can show you what every checkbox is for. Once you're done updating your template, you can click the save button to save what you've done. All right, so we've got all these boxes checked. Let's take a look at what this actually looks like. So if you scroll down, we're gonna see this more or less how it's presented to the customer. You'll notice that there's a number of gray boxes. We can add any text we like to any of these gray boxes. So we might head into our company info, for instance, and uh, add something friendly, just like that. And now I'm fired. Uh, we might also wanna add something that's actually useful. 
So for instance, here in customer info, if we're having this uh, go out to our production team, anything like that, we might want the phone number to be on or just in case we want to verify with the customer. So we can use our template fields, just like in our other sorts of templates. And we'll go through job primary contact and let's add their main phone number. This actually won't show up here because our uh, specific example doesn't have an assigned phone number, but it would assign if you had a customer with a phone number. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you have your phone number. It's very important you text with those. Now, the other things you'll see on here that are important is your logo. Uh, this just has job Nimbus. It will update to whatever you put in the system automatically. You don't have to worry about that. And then all of these columns that we talked about will show up here. So for instance, if we have cost here, but we don't want it, Let's unclick this box and you see cost vanishes. Same as, this, the same as the same for each of these other ones. You'll also see examples of the different kinds of sections that you can show in. So you've got a standard a section that shows line items, hides line items, hide line items amount, but still show the description. And we'll get a little bit further into those next week. Down at the bottom, you'll see things like the total, the tax, and some more editable fields. A lot of our users like to put in scope of work, disclaimers, things like that, either to the left of totals or in the document footer. And there is that more info for you, the uh, special instructions section that uh, Dan edited earlier. Perfect. Now that we understand how to update what is seen on your estimate, let's actually take a look real quick uh, before we finish creating this estimate a uh, template at a template that we already created an estimate we already already created. So this right here, when you pull up um, an estimate in Java Nimbus, you'll be brought to this page where you can see the estimate as a client will see it. If you wanna look at it more closely, you can click on the ellipses here and select PDF view. And that will bring you to this page right here where you can see exactly what the client will see. As you see, this is actually using the other template design that we didn't choose to use. Um, on this template specifically, we have the item name, description, the price and the amount columns checked for the customer and nothing else. The team members will see so much more. At the bottom of this page, you can see what the team members can see internally. And as you see, everything has been checked. The un unit of measurement, quantity, cost, market price, everything. If you don't want your team members to see the cost, you can just uncheck it under the internal column in the template, and then this cost column will disappear from this page. That Now that we see that, let's actually come back and finish updating our template. For this specific template, uh, we don't want our customers to see the unit of measurement, the quantity, the price, and the tax. And internally, uh, I don't want my team members to see the cost, what the materials are costing my company. So we're going to uncheck that. And as you see, when we uncheck that, this is grayed out. So I cannot check the customers uh, to let them see it. So you cannot let your clients see something that your team members cannot. Now we go down here and we, as we see, this is a very sleek looking estimate, a it has the information we need, nothing more. Uh, is there anything else that we're missing, Logan? Uh, let's go ahead and throw in that uh, disclaimer, that scope of work that we uh, use. Yeah. Okay. Let me actually uh, copy and paste something here. There we go. That is very official looking Latin language of the law. Yeah, that's totally bulletproof. I feel good about this. Great. Okay. Awesome. So there we have our template. Hey, I'm, I'm happy with this. Let's save it. And once it's saved, it'll appear with all of the other templates. And down here, as, we, as you see, it's right here with your estimate templates. Excellent. Well, next week we'll get into what it looks like when we actually use that, some tips and tricks to make things go faster and to help you when you're building similar estimates over and over again. But that's what we've got this week as far as estimate templates. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out today uh, to watch our webinar. If you want to watch any of our previous webinars, uh, they're up on YouTube. Uh, go ahead and check out our Job Nimbus channel. We have a lot of really neat videos there. You can also check out our 
articles uh, at support.jobnimbus.com. These will really help you understand how to use Job Nimbus. If you need to reach out to our support team, uh, go ahead and uh, there's our phone number there and you can also email us and we're more than happy to help you. Thank you for coming everybody. Bye-bye.